everyone! Um, I guess the ball has officially started rolling. So, as I said, I'm doing a series to document my application to uh, the Foundation Programme here in the UK, which is your first couple of jobs as a junior doctor and it takes you to the first two years after leaving medical school. And today has been a big one, um, which is really annoying because today I couldn't really check my emails all that often. Um, and we just had a ton of emails, really important emails come through. So what did happen today? Well, I got my login for Oriel. And Oriel is a system that I'm going to use to apply to my future jobs. Uh, the booklets and all the specifications that certain deaneries and units of application want came out. I now need to sit down and like read the rest of the books and see what I can apply to, what I can't apply to. Um, but I thought I would record myself logging into Oriel for the first time. There's not going to be anything particularly amazing on it, um, but I'm going to take you along for a ride. And then the big thing that happened today, I got my GMC number and I think today it really did hit that I am going to be a doctor next year. Like the GMC number is something that follows you around for life. Um, it's, it's like your personal identity. It's like your national insurance number, but it's for doctors and it's the way that GMC is able to identify us. It gets put on any written document that we ever write. It gets stamped into notes. It's everywhere. and. It felt really good to get it because it's like, oh, I'm now no longer a full student. I'm slowly making that transition to being Dr. Tut. Um, so yeah, I also realised that my calendar is wrong, so I'm going to change it now. I changed my calendar and you can see it with that big red scary highlight, which basically means do not forget to apply. So. I thought I would record myself having a look. I will put the screen grab of what I'm seeing here. So let's log in and have a look what we're working with. Basically what I did during teaching today was that I confirmed that I did want to apply. So we just had to click a button and then I came up with my password to log into Oreo. Um, so let's go on to the website now and I'm just going to use that link to go um let's log in ah there we go i uh was putting in the wrong numbers but that's fine okay so it just looks like i've got to fill in my basic demographic details so obviously i'm a okay so we just had to put in my details and wow okay <laughs> this is this is a lot more complicated than Newcastle was. Um, so we've got all the vacancies and I know that I have to apply for the 2022 Foundation Programme. Uh, these were just what I did today. So document application references. So if we go to vacancies, because I know that is something I need to do. Um, and then these appear to be the programs that I can apply for. Um, so yeah, so I'm not gonna record me having a complete look at this because I'm pretty sure you guys don't need to see that. So that's it. I will be completing my application from next Wednesday. <laughs> I now have between now and then to look at the programs, to look at what they want, but that's your update. Exciting times! Uh, thank you very much for watching this update. Again, I'll make sure I try and do as many updates as I physically can and what you guys might find interesting. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for the complete craziness of what is going on this year. Part of the reason that I'm doing this is because there is currently nothing but one channel out there that describes what it's like to go through all this, particularly from someone who likes having some sort of knowledge about what they're going through. And this, this was something that I did in my blog as well. So when I was applying to med school, I 
couldn't find anything that was specific to Aspies and just flip it to those who are on the autistic spectrum to kind of guide you through about what's going to happen in the next couple of months. So I sort of took it upon myself to do that and I now have nearly a complete record of medical school applications and soon I'll have it for F1 and starting life as a doctor. So yeah. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next update. Bye. So I've just started having a look and I mean, we've just started. Yes, yeah, St George's is out the window. There's just, there's, there's like four AFP med eds in London and three of them aren't even in London. They're Brighton and Sussex, which I wouldn't mind because obviously you like the South, but Cambridge looked to have some amazing rotations. I could literally do my entire second year in neuro, which would be incredible. But I can't see myself getting in there, but oh, this makes things so much more complicated. I've got seven days to get through all this before I have to apply.